Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Emir of Kuwait. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, marking his country's National Day and Liberation Day. His Majesty the King wished the Emir of Kuwait continued health and happiness and the people of Kuwait further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Majesty the King underlined Kuwait's progress, which consolidated its standing in the international community lauding the deep-rooted historic and fraternal relations binding the two countries and peoples. His Majesty the King reiterated Bahrain's keenness on continuous development of the outstanding bilateral relations for the benefit of both nations, peoples, aspirations and joint interests. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Emir of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah on the occasion of Kuwait's National Day and Liberation Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister wished Kuwait further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. His Royal Highness praised Kuwait's continuous development and noted the strength of the long-standing relations between the two countries and people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain's commitment to further strengthening the bilateral relations to achieve the common goals for the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent similar cable to the Kuwait Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and to the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. The Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized a 22nd race of the season in the presence of a number of their Highnesses' representatives of the National Bank of Bahrain, sponsor of the race, and horse racing fans. The race held at the club's racetrack in Al Rafa Sakhir comprised eight events and trophies were presented to the winners at the end of the race. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al-Zayani, affirmed the support of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King for the efforts and initiatives aimed at ending the Russian-Ukrainian war through dialogue and diplomatic means in a manner that achieves the interests of both parties to the conflict, maintains security, peace and stability in the European continent, and spares the whole world its humanitarian, security and economic repercussions. In a statement to Bahrain News Agency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed Bahrain's deep concern on the international arena in terms of tensions, threats, political and military escalation, 
coinciding with the first anniversary of the war in Ukraine, amid fears of the continuation and expansion of the battles and the consequent heavy loss of life and property, as well as its threats to world peace, energy and food supplies. He referred to the Kingdom of Bahrain's adherence to its firm position, which was confirmed by His Majesty the King on many occasions, and calling for peace and the prevalence of wisdom, dialogue and international partnership to end wars and conflicts, including the Russian-Ukrainian war and its contribution to international efforts in providing humanitarian relief assistance and supporting the initiatives of brotherly and friendly countries in exchanging prisoners and facilitating food supplies. The Minister of Foreign Affairs renewed the Kingdom of Bahrain's call on the active and most influential forces in the international arena to calm the turbulent situation, stop the escalation by adopting initiatives that ensure resolving existing conflicts, including holding an international meeting between the two parties without preconditions to discuss reaching cons consensual, peaceful, balanced and sustainable solutions that lead to ending the war in a way that contributes to the consolidation of international peace and security and affirms the values of love, human brotherhood, tolerance and peaceful coexistence among the peoples of the world. The Kingdom of Bahrain has continued in hosting consultative workshops regarding achieving the Sustainable Development Goals with all stakeholders in preparation for upcoming voluntary review, which will be presented during the High-Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development in New York City in July, entitled Accelerating Recovery from the Coronavirus Pandemic and Full Implementation for the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. The organization of the workshop reflects the Kingdom's firm principle to involve all stakeholders in advancing development in all its aspects. The workshops highlighted Bahrain's progress in achieving the 2030 Agenda by reviewing the initiatives and programs put forward by higher education institutions to align their outputs with the requirements of sustainable development. The workshops provide a space for dialogue, exchange of knowledge and an opportunity to highlight the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment and continuous efforts to achieve sustainability in various aspects of the comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King and the continued follow-up of His Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The workshops provided a forum to discuss development goals with representatives from civil society, the legislative authority academics, the private sector and bodies supporting the woman's file in addition to youth in accordance with international methodologies for the preparation of voluntary national reviews. The Labor Market Regulatory Authority and representatives from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs received a delegation from the U.S. Congress currently visiting the Kingdom of Bahrain at the Labor Market Regulatory Authority's Expat Protection Center. LMRA officials presented the Kingdom of Bahrain's efforts in developing a stable and balanced work environment that preserves the rights of work parties, as well as the efforts to raise awareness and provide guidance to the workers. During the visit, LMRA officials highlighted the Authority's key projects and initiatives, including the recently launched Labor Registration Program, which aims to register workers in partnership with the private sector as part of the Kingdom's continuous efforts to develop a sustainable and efficient labor market. The delegation was briefed on the objectives and key roles of the Expat Protection Center, the first comprehensive and specialized facility of its kind in the Middle East region. The center provides counseling, legal services, shelter for victims and potential victims of crimes of trafficking in persons or any form of exploitation, and focuses on the preservation of labor rights in accordance with the best international standards and practices. The Labor Market Regulatory Authority conducted inspection campaigns in the capital and northern governorates in coordination with the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs and the governorates' respective police directorates. The campaigns resulted in reporting several violations related to the labor market and residency laws. The reported cases were referred for legal action. The LMRA stressed its commitment to report violations through an intensive inspection plan in coordination with the relevant government entities. The Kingdom of Bahrain is preparing to host the opening season of Formula One racing. The race will take place between the 3rd and the 5th of March and will be the fifth time that Bahrain International Circuit has had the honor of being the opening race of the season. In this context, Bahrain Airport Company said it completed all preparations to receive the visitors of the Gulf Air Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix. 
who will come from all over the world to attend the largest international sporting event hosted by the Kingdom. Preparations include receiving the teams participating in the race and transporting hundreds of tons of equipment for this event in coordination between the Bahrain Airport Company and all partners in this global sporting event. In 2023, Formula One will host a record total of 24 races with the start of the season in Bahrain kicking off a Middle East start to the season with the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix taking place two weeks later.